What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So pulled up a, a list of weapons in the game. And there are two weapons that I think could work. Uh, one is called the Face Slasher. The other is the uh, the Jaw Blade. But they're both strength resonance. One slow, one is average. And they're over here in like Gloom Nest and Feasters. So quite far away uh, for the time being. We're just gonna, we're gonna continue through Garden. I'm going to bet that end of garden there's probably like a nerf pass type thing because there's no fucking way they'd make me go all the way back over to that. But anyway, we'll finish garden. And then I think I'm going to take some time uh, to go try and get that stuff because, you know, the weapon I've had is just, it's just too damn slow, man. Like, I've gotten used to it, but it doesn't make it any better. It's still, like, unbearably slow. One of those things, so I think I can just take the upper path to just avoid all that bullshit. What are there items down there? I gotta check. I gotta check, because if there's items and I miss out on them. Oh god. Well, I think that's all though. I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, so there's some This is a whole separate path. Okay, that that looks really annoying. Um, I mean, the thing, the thing, the boss or whatever is right here. So let's let's do that. So just up straight, and you're there. Cool, cool, cool. Strand of the child. Is this thing... It's not a boss? Really? Okay. Little... Wait, for, for real? I don't... Alright, that's a little... I didn't think I would just come in here, grab the goodies, and be on my way, but... Can't be leaving that behind now, can I? Oh god, there's a platform there. I was freaking out. I was just mashing the button. I gotta do the jump thing. The 
hell. Why is it like not working? I mean, unless there's like a, a double jump, I get. No, God, I feel like I'm just barely missing that. There we go. Oh, that route that I got probably is what let me leave right there. Try this again. Basically, just want to go straight here. It is real easy to get back to where we were going.
You little bitch. I was like, there's something, that, this is weird, there's no way there's not a, not a pass through or anything. Oh wait, is that the actual, like, the exit? There's an eyeball up here, what about, what else is down here? Looks like there's another path, even lower, maybe? Hmm. You, the carbon. If I got all the way over here just to die to some basic ass enemies just because there's a bunch of them, I would be real bad. I think I'm going to go for that 150% heal. a long skinny path or an upper path. I guess let's take the long and skinny first. Long skinny is straight. this going oh god no what there was a there was a fucking gap there man this place sucks dick ah Right side sucks ass. I'll take the top path first this time. See if that... Because I feel like that's going to an exit. Yeah, it has to be, because it's a hidden path. There's no fucking way they'd make the hidden path be the exit. That would not make sense. It's a hidden boss.
Let's see loot. chunk well, and this just drops me straight down into bullshit land I guess but up nice and high Centipede Whip sounds badass, but I would pretty much guarantee that that's probably not a strength weapon. This looks like a nerf pass. Yep. Okay, so if that's here, um, was there anything else there? This looks like it was just a dead end. I'm pretty sure I died just fighting bullshit down there, so I think we're done. Will this go all the way through? take that thing out of here and then we can take a look at the new weapons we got but more importantly we can uh, go get the weapons that I know are strength weapons so we picked up oh shit never mind I already had the fucking face slasher I swore this was a dex thing but no, no, wait. Hang on a second here. Let me look at the weapon list I pulled up. Face Slasher, 15B4E. Fuck, that's not it at all. Alright, so the, the guide I was looking at is wrong. This is 15 decks. For uh, residents. Okay. So, yeah, the face slasher is not happening. Um, that is. This is 5 strength, 8. 26 decks. <laughs> 5 strength, 15 resonance. Pull down the device to drill through prey. That's kind of cool. Centipede with 20 decks, 10 resonance. Well then. The Jawlax sounds like it's going to be my best bet here. 
need to do an air dash, pull the block. I swear I've gotten that before. Hmm. I don't know exactly where it's at, but I'll need. I know. I think I remember where, but not exactly. Anyway, let's just take this thing. What the hell? There's stuff. There's a whole. What is that? That's bullshit. I saw stuff that I could interact with in that tunnel. Now I'm, I'm paranoid that the the weapon this guy talked about isn't actually strength. Uh, what do we, what was it? The jaw axe. Jaw axe. Prime. Oh, here we go. Somebody on Steam has screenshots of everything. So there is pillar slab which is what I'm using. Finger blade, maul sword, that is no strength. Raw blade, that looks cool, but it's dex, that's dex. Shaper is dex resonance. Unformed slab is a great sword, that's slow. B strength, E resonance. The carving great sword, which is D E. Um, the unformed slab would be way better. Uh, hidden in a rock mouth on the eastern side of unformed desert, above the rightmost entrance to Gloom Nest, not far from the exit to Lithic. Rock mouth, eastern side of unformed desert. So like right around that thing, I guess. All right, you know what? Let me let me get out of here. We're gonna make our way on over there, and I am going to hunt down some weapons that sound cool. There's also the shapely greatsword, which is C strength D dex. Um, which visually, at least, that looks like the weapon that what's his face was using, uh, shapely fidelity, which makes sense. Shapely great sword. Just after the Hangate Servant's Path Dark Room, you first saw Yon get his head smashed. Breathfly lanterns. Okay. And there's the fist, the fist weapons, the daggers. Glaive. No, those are dex. Scythes are dex, dex, dex. Dex. Lanterns are resonance. Bone grinder is quality. Jaw axe. 20, yeah, it needs 20 strength, 8 resonance. Sounds badass. There are two ways to get this. Both require air dash. The easiest is from the sunken bone surrogate. Head left and dash through the gap near head. You'll probably die to the teeth, but it should spawn you to the left of them. Head up and left next to the tarbile tooth item pickup. There's a breakable wall. You'll find a jaw axe surrounded by teeth. Pull the tooth from the wall to stop getting chomped on. Use item pull if you're late in the game and have it, and grab the axe. Oh. Sunken bone surrogate. 
the hell is the sunken bone surrogate? It sounds cool, though. And visually, it looks like it's just like a mouth that you swing and you hit shit with. So I think we're gonna... The jaw axe is... Busy is this from the Sunken Bones Surrogate? What the fuck is that? Sunken Bones Surrogate. The other... Um... What's thing called? It's like a, a guide showing a picture of where you get it, but it doesn't show where it's at. I just know it's somewhere in the feaster's nest, so it's like, great. It could be, or, or feaster's lair. It could be fucking anywhere down there. Um, I'll bleed. Or, I don't know. Here's here's what I think the game plan is. I need to get down there anyway. I have the stuff to, to do this now, make this little connection there. So... From where we are at, um, I think I'm just going to make my way over to here, go down, try and find it. If I do, great. And then we'll make our way up there and then go out this way and try and find the, the other weapon that's in the unformed desert. I think that's going to be our plan. So uh, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to try and locate where this is at, and then we'll pick up the next episode from there, get these weapons, test them. Try them on out and then see where we go uh, in terms of like next zone. So stay tuned. Catch y'all soon with more.